Hello folks, this is Vips from SlideNet again. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Eclipse, another software for creating Java programs. You're probably wondering, hey man, I just got NetBeans, like why the hell do I need this? Well, you're right, you don't. I'm just covering this for the sake of completeness. I'll show you how Eclipse works. First of all, you need to download it. Eclipse.org downloads. Eclipse is another free software maintained by a big community of developers who are constantly working on it. As you can see there are many options over here and you are probably confused which one to download. You can download any one. Eclipse for ID for Java, Eclipse Classic. Let's just say I'm taking uh, Eclipse Classic. I'll click Windows 64 bit since I'm running 64. If you don't know whether yours is 32 or 64, you have to go to start. Probably DXDIAG. Yeah, and this will show you exactly whether it's 64 or 32 over here in the operating system section. Alright, so now click download. And start downloading it. So at this point, I have Eclipse completely downloaded on my desktop. It's a zip file. I'll cut this take somewhere on my PC CD drive over here extract it to some folder unlike NetBeans you don't need to install Eclipse you just extract it and run it that's all click Eclipse.exe there you go it's starting it has a startup screen just like NetBeans it's gonna ask me where I wanna save my projects. I'll probably say desktop. Make a new folder in the desktop. Say my stuff. Oops, there's already an all my stuff folder over there. Never mind. Yep, okay. So Eclipse has the same mechanism like NetBeans. Again, it does not allow you to create individual programs. You create projects and you have your programs inside them. That's what you do. You go to file, same thing, new, Java project. It's very similar to what you did in NetBeans. Give it a name, say hello test. Yes, use and leave the other options as it is. Click next. Yep, source, click finish. So at this point, Eclipse is trying to create the st stuff which I wanted. Hello test is there, there's a source file. Okay, now inside this I'll have to create my Java class which is my program. New class name I'll say test. Click finish. So as you can see, same way like NetBeans, you have a test over here and I'll say public static see that void main eclipse does the same thing which NetBeans does allows me to minimize my typing efforts I'll say system control space you wanna do that you have to press control space out dot print ln same thing double quotes say hi go to file go to save right click on this file on the left side and well run as a java application so as you can see down it says hi very similar to what NetBeans did again you go here right click on the left side run as java application that's what you do so I hope you guys got something out of this it's not necessary that you need to have Eclipse. If you have NetBeans, you can use any of these. I'm just covering it for the sake of completeness. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Well, subscribe to my channel and see you later guys. Have a nice day.